welcome to Arise Entertainment 360. I'm Janae Johnson, filling in for new mommy Lola Oganaki. That's right, and I'm Shannon Lanier, and this is a special edition of Arise Entertainment 360, and we're going to highlight and count down the 20th biggest entertainment stories of the year. Mm -hmm. Joining us to take a look at some of the year's top stories mm -hmm. are some of my favorite people in the world. <laughs> AllHipHop.com founder Chuck Kriegmer, pop culture critic Rhonda Ridley, and my friend and homie and big brother homie. in comedy, comedian Donnell Rawlins. Pop that collar, pimp. Pop it, pop, pop it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> He's officially popped. I think we're yes. ready. So it's time to get popping right here with all these stories. <laughs> Let's the get collar. the countdown started. Okay, now Shannon, so yeah. we cannot start this year in the rewind without talk talking about those stars who hit the red carpets with brand new faces. Did y'all see that? Yeah. Okay. 2014 was all about the plastic surgery that nobody talked about. Yeah. Do you remember back in October when Renee Zellweger stepped out on the yes. red carpet at the L's annual Women in Hollywood Awards and, well, let's just Who's say that? it was hard <laughs> to figure out if that was her or someone who looked like her. What did you guys think about this? <laughs> that was scary. Why? That was really scary. Because that's not, that doesn't look like her. Yeah. At all. There's no semblance of Renee Zellweger at all in that face. Mm -hmm. And then when you put her old face next to this face, you see the huge difference. And it wasn't that bad. Like, she went extreme. But it was like a yeah. permanent change. I've seen some women that I've went home with, and they, <laughs> I go to sleep, they one face, I wake up, I'm like... <laughs> but here's, but here's the thing, it's kind of, you know, she's 45, right? So right. there's a certain age that we kind of expect, okay, you might go in for a nip and a tuck, right? Okay. But Kylie Jenner... Is 17. Ooh, right. Oh, yeah. How do you guys feel about the lips? About the. I mean, she <laughs> looks good. Or but she's she in the business so of selfies. Her whole family okay. is a life of selfies. Yeah. I, she wake up in the morning, dog face. <laughs> and I think, like, I, I, I'm quite sure her mother probably encouraged her to do that. For them, that's a billboard, and that's a marketing, and that's their brand. And their brand is trying to do everything to look perfect. And for some reason, it's worth for their family. So, you know. But if you look what she got adjusted, you mm. can see, you know, they love the darker skin. So, mm. you know. <laughs> they love those Maybe she's just acting out on her parents' divorce. And, and speaking of one of her parents, I mean, Bruce Jenner, yeah. he's, is he really going through a transformation here? What, I, think what's so. happening? I think so. I, re I yeah. really think so. From the shaving of the Adam's apple to the hair, yeah. the nails, I think so. I yeah. think we. I think the legend we knew, we once knew, is no more. He looks like Renee Ziegler in this picture. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I like, is that the job switch the pictures up? It's the same person. <laughs> okay. So now, if there's one thing that connects the Kardashians, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the Kardashians and Iggy and J Lo and, and everybody. All of them. Well, all of them. It's their massive rear ends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, all about listen. the booty. Yeah. I I have to ask, now, am, am I like a black girl hater because I'm mad at the face of, of a big butt? If you is, have this one, you could not be a black girl. Hate. No, you're not a hater. You're okay. not a hater at all. No, I'm not hating on this magazine cover right here. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. Paper, how did you feel about the paper uh, cover? I mean, I, I, you know, you know, it was what it was. I'm not, I'm <laughs> He's not probably hater, not either. <laughs> but I will say this: black women have had that physique for Absolutely. ever, Absolutely. and now all We've of a sudden, it. it's a big pop culture That's moment. Right. Mm. All of a sudden, and I'm not not hating or anything, but I said the same thing even with J Lo. I'm like, okay, that's all cool and everything, but let's talk about Serena. Oh, yeah, okay. right. exactly. Like Donnell, Donnell, Donnell has exactly. I, I really right. enjoyed it. Like when I watched, when I first saw that photo, I thought about this show because I did a 360 and I rise in two minutes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, more power to her if she ever wanted to do any more photo shoots like that. And she's a photographer. I'm willing to give my service. And because since people know me as Ashley Larry, I bring the, my own lotion to the set. Oh, wow. oh, 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 oh wow! Okay. Ashley Larry. On that yeah. note, let's yeah. go to an Anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about Nicki Minaj. <laughs> what do you guys think about? Nicki Minaj and this booty shot. This was, you know, a Yikes. lot of people were talking about this, a lot of controversy when she did it, but when <laughs> others did the same yeah. pose or similar yeah. poses, they didn't care as much. That's an album cover from back in the 70s. I remember mm. seeing that album cover, cover in my house. You know uh -uh. what I'm saying? Uh -uh. And you're right. People from back in the day were just like, oh, okay, whatever. This new generation is just like, what? Mm. Now, what is that? Let me ask, is Turnabout fair play? Because you know the rumor is that Nikki also bought her behind right. in the way of she the J-Lo, well not J-Lo, no, in the way of the Kardashians yes. and mm -hmm. such. Mm -hmm. So uh, does, is that but she good, spent, You can tell the difference between good and bad. The good ones are the women that spend a lot of money on it. Okay, well look at this photo. Did she underspend? Because it looks yes. like there's a, she she's went sitting cheap. on a boulder she went or something not necessarily. That looks like I, a fix a flat ass right there. <laughs> right. <laughs> they do, they meet women in hotels and they squirt them with fix a flat, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's very true. 
true. I could never uh -huh. figure that picture out. I looked at it like a million times, and I still can't figure out what's going on there. It just doesn't look right. It's a uh, bald Something looks crazy. The the she's cheap. sitting on the implant. She's absolutely sitting right. on the implant. <laughs> well, there's not enough skin there to cover everything, and it right, just looks right, like... Right. She yeah. looked like yeah. she was on a Life Alert commercial right there. I'm oh falling, and I can't <laughs> get off my butt. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we have to move on to topic 18, the naughty iCloud cyber hacks. Ooh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of people kind of got screwed here, right? Rihanna, Megan Good, mm -hmm. Vanessa Hudgens. What do you guys make of all this? Because we saw a lot of people's naked bodies yes. Yes. thanks to these hacks. Yes. Huge invasion of privacy. Mm -hmm. Huge invasion of privacy. Who was it that called it a sex crime? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. 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 And yeah. I, I, I can see it, see, that, the, see it as that because you've invaded someone's privacy to see something that they never meant for anyone to but see. But the, the digital world that we live in now, right now, you have to say that it's unsafe to take any pictures. Mm -hmm. Any picture did, did, you, did you take, it's a digital format, you can expect yeah. it's going to be somewhere. It'll be somewhere later. Gabrielle Union talked about this. She said, mm -hmm. I can't help but to be reminded that since the dawn of time, women and children, specifically women of color, have been victimized and the power over their own bodies taken from them. Mm. These atrocities against women and children continue mm -hmm. worldwide. I wow. agree. Yeah. Now, you spoke about J-Law earlier. Do you think some type of law should be in place to protect people's private information that gets leaked? I don't, because I like some of those pictures. <laughs> 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 we, can do street, we can do street law, man. Don't take me to court. It's, not, it's never men, though. In fact, I mean, thank goodness it's never men, but, you know, there are never right. men attacked in, these, in this no. way or fashion. So I... I definitely think there needs to be some kind of law. Absolutely. Well, you get attacked on some sites. If you're not holding like people think you're supposed to be holding, they but not as much as women, you. though. Right. We've always been objectified, so there's got to be something that if these, if this hack, something like this happens again, people can be prosecuted for it. Wow, okay. Absolutely. Well, this discussion can continue for yeah. a long, long time, but we have to move on. we got to pay <laughs> some right. bills. Yes. And then we're going to come back for a lot more of our countdown of 2014 Hot Topics. We'll be Stick right back. around. Picture. Welcome back, everyone. We're here with our crew counting down the top stories of 2014 that affected pop culture the most. And there are some juicy stories to get to. And we've talked a lot about the beautiful ladies in the last segment. We so did. I think it's time to give you a little eye candy, Janae. And, okay. And Rhonda let's do it. as well. Mm -hmm. Give y'all something to talk about, right? Okay. <laughs> well, at we number 70, we are so here. Yeah. I got some pictures for you, girl. So <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> that time is up. Oh, no, wait a minute. No. Anyway, at number 17, the sexy soccer players of the World Cup. Brazil was hot. Mm. Yes, but I have some personal favorites of moments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't we start with when the Croatian soccer team went skinny dipping after their early elimination? Oh, yes. Are you happy now? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I just like to, I just like that if you're going to show naked girls, then we should show some naked boys, too. <laughs> and while I love me a good foreigner, I am an all-American girl at heart, and I do love Team USA. And things can get a little dangerous out there for a girl, so I really appreciate a strong man who has quick reflexes and can protect me from fast-moving, flying objects. It's, it's almost like you have to be a supermodel these days to be a sports player. Is, yes. that, is that where we're going with this? Right That's on, Tim Howard. <laughs> That's how you, you become very famous. If you're gorgeous, absolutely. And you can play a sport, stop it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The girls uh, don't even have to be able to play a sport. They just have Listen, to be good. Listen, volleyball is a good sport for Vo females. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing like that. Huh? Ah! 
<laughs> with the little shorts. I watched, I didn't know who won the game. I watched volleyball for like eight hours one day. Like all that wow. jumping around just yeah. was enough for you. Just That's for all nothing. you needed. Okay. <laughs> we're, sticking, we're sticking with sports. Let's move on to the Olympics. I mean, the Olympics was a big story that went happened this year, and it just caused a lot of controversy. There was a lot of issues that went on there. Yeah. What, why were there so many issues over in Russia with all the stuff that was happening with the Olympics? What was wrong with these people? There was a lot going on. Well, they didn't even finish the arena that people were supposed to play in. The housing was an issue. Yes, they the didn't housing have working was awful. Facilities. Working, right, it was gross. How it was you really gross. How you to your country <laughs> and the water doesn't work? Did they really the want us there? The ring didn't oh. open. Oh, yeah, right. that's right. right. The opening ceremony. How many hiccups have we seen in the Olympics in the past like this? Mm -hmm. Let, okay, this was awful. Many. Let's tell the truth, Brown panel. How much do y'all care about the winter and or the Olympics? Thank you for Taylor saying that. Taylor wanted to tell. I definitely didn't care. I didn't tell you this part of it. I didn't even know for them to weigh in. I didn't even know we had a winter Olympics. Oh, my God. That's probably why people were getting sick there. Remember Bob Costi had like the pink eye. It was like really bad. He had to go on relief. Like, I can't see. I don't know what's going on right now. They tried to say it was both times. Yeah, that was real goopy. That was yeah, that was nasty and sticky. Yeah. So no to da thumbs down to Winter Olympics. Yeah, we gonna pass. Them. Uh, okay. Don't care. Yeah. Okay. okay. Pass. Let's, uh, yeah. That's all right. Right. Was it just me, or were all the celebrities like ready to fight in 2014? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We had a lot of absolutely. feuds this Man, year, right? Absolutely. There were tons of feuds. You know, the most recently we saw Diddy and Drake going at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Diddy was accusing Drake of stealing the track from zero to 100 from yeah. him. What was that all about? And do you think that was squashed, or is it still going? I love an old school beatdown. I can't lie. You know, uh -oh. just just mm. two men squaring up hand hand <laughs> combat okay. style. Uh, unfortunately for Drake, he was on the losing end of that. No. But you know, Diddy's old school with it, so Absolutely. he just put his hands on him a little bit. You know, touch the young boy up and let him know what's up. Diddy and you got different between boo -boo? like street beef and Twitter beef. Yeah, yeah that's uh, like the kids today. That's right. There's a the huge kids today used to be like, "Yo, go get my thing, son," but now they're like, "Yo, go get my phone." <laughs> Yo, go get my phone. Watch this. It's not to be on. Yeah, it's like. Hashtag we out here. Let me see you. You know where we be at. Hashtag follow me at. Well, the worst part is when they're together oh and they were like, what you say? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. What? What? Okay. I'm no, no. So, wait, no, it's funny that you all talk about the Twitter feud, right? Because now Chris Brown and Tamar mm. Braxton mm. got into it. On Twitter, right? You no, know you can't. And, and Instagram, okay, because and when started the singer, on the TV show. Yes. yes. Now, when the singer and talk show co host, uh, mm -hmm. they, started, they had a brawl because Adrian Bylon mm -hmm. said right. that Chris was bad for cheating on Karooch Tr Tram. His, yep. yep. right. his girl. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. And so then, you know, Chris bites back and then mm -hmm. Tamar jumps <laughs> in. Where do you guys stand? Well, you can't call a Braxton sister ugly. Come on. You know she's going to bite back. Mm -hmm. She's going to bite back hard. Mm -hmm. You know, but, listen. Uh, you can like, you, 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 you was gonna hit me. Okay, I'm quiet. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You know, you call somebody ugly. Ugly is still a bad word. Uh -huh. And that was it. Like the, the the war didn't really go on between him and Adrian, but it stayed with him and, T and Tamar. Tamar uh -huh. was not gonna have it. She came back as a grown woman, though. She uh -huh. she didn't you know 17 year old it out. Right. She was a, she was a grown woman, and she was like, yeah, I don't have time for this. But she can't. She's upset with Chris Brown. For, I mean, how could anybody be upset with Chris Brown for being a cheater? When you're in relationships where you have menage a trois, you set the stage for somebody to be Ooh. tweeted on. As much as people guys say that's their mm -hmm. fantasy, but once you deal with that fantasy, you got to deal with it. Like, okay, he's not here. We open up the can of worms. So let's continue to do it. So it's not. I don't think it's cheating in his lifestyle. I think that is his lifestyle. Let's okay, be fair. Well, whether it's menage a trois or not, I mean, come on. Like he's yeah. a celebrity. Cheating, cheating right. is a part of. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, and there was a lot of people cheating out there, and a lot of stuff is getting a lot of play, like these feuds, because of social media. And mm -hmm. just like every year since its debut in 2006, Twitter emerged as a powerful tool for change. And that's why it's number 14 on our top 20 list of 2014. That's right. We have the Black Lives Matter hashtag yeah. trending mm -hmm. now. But do you all remember Bring Back Our Girls? That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah right. absolutely. And they're not back. And they're not back. And <laughs> we, oh. we stopped talking yeah. about and that, it. That's the crazy we thing, We shouldn't right? stop talking about the that. The worst yeah. part is that the man laughed at the hashtag. Yeah. Michelle Obama yeah. put her hashtag up and the guy was like, ha, 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 bring back our girls. Yeah. Well, that yeah. just shows you the problems that we have with social media right. and, and, and keyboard activists or whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people are easily distracted. One thing happens and then they forget about the previous thing and then nothing ultimately gets done. That's right. why I think Black Lives Matter is, is such a big difference. It's a definite paradigm shift for me and I think a lot of others who feel like this is not going to stop until we see some form That's of right. justice. That's but right. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a hashtag... Um, I'll steal a hashtag in a minute. I had said some hashtag comics lives matters, jokes matters. I'm going to matter everything. No disrespect to Black Lives Matter, but Black comedians' lives matters too, man. That's the truth. Black funniness out here, man. Come support.
support my same. show. <laughs> okay, you know what else too? Many shows have been saved by the power of Black oh, Twitter. Right. Alone. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Remember how Scandal almost got canceled in, after the first season? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. Now let's. Yeah. See, but now you know every, you can't even go on Twitter without hearing about scandal, right? Absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. But it can also be bad for TV shows like the Aaliyah movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Can we do? Can we, we had to back? go there because can we there's no back? Blew up. Yeah. I mean, you guys gotta believe. I mean, it blew up on Twitter as soon as it came on. But you gotta admit, like, of and course. In this business, no, there's no such thing as bad publicity. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The scandal yes, with is. Sony in North yes, Korea. Yes, there is. That we're well. talking about the interview was a movie that nobody even knew about. You know what I'm saying? But once it got in the public, I'm with the with the the, um, with the cyber tech and everything, now everybody wants to see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is no way, even with the Leah movie, as much as they was dogging people on the hashtag, it made people want to go um, mm -hmm. check out the movie just to see how, how bad, bad it was, just so they could go on timelines and be trolls on your timeline. Because yeah, people need to troll. <laughs> <That's what we're laughs> right. right. <laughs> All right, well, so then we've canceled that? Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. So nobody cares, right? <laughs> Guys, let's move on to number 13 on our oh, list. Yes. And that is music. That's right. There were a lot of big releases this year. Drake, Nicki Minaj, Ariana Grande, D'Angelo came back, and Taylor Swift killed it. She's, oh, she's killing it continually. Yes. Now, not to mention, Jay-Z and Beyonce yeah. had one of the highest grossing tours ever. That's yeah. right. Also, Frill started the global phenomenon with his song, Happy. Who can Absolutely. forget that? I've no been singing one. that like six months later. <laughs> still singing Happy. And John Legend wrote the wedding song of the year, All of Me. Oh, I still love that song. I'm and a little over it, though. You are? Oh, yeah. oh, come I can't on. stand That's his voice. I've 50,000 <laughs> times. Ooh. It was kind of like, all right. All right, well, all of those are great, but 2014 <laughs> really was about white women in music, like Iggy Azalea, like Taylor Swift. Ariana they were killing Grande. things. Katy yes, Perry. Katy yeah. Perry. Yeah. Okay, yes. so what do you Why all think of this? Why would I feel like I'm getting excited when you start yelling all those things? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I guess I, it worked. I, 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 I'm back. I had a you pumpkin. Back? I had a pumpkin okay. latte last year, See? man. And oh. Try, trying to bring that lotion to the set. It was over. Right. <laughs> it was like I'm in. I'm in. So it was 2014 the year of white women for music. I guess. I guess. You know, my thing is this. I, I'm not a big fan of many. Yeah. Okay. Of Show, them. Yeah. Wait, Show me know, what that I, grimace I means. Saw yeah. her, <laughs> wait, I saw her shaking it off in the other room. She was like, shake it off. Oh, 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 that, that wasn't me. That wasn't you? <laughs> that was oh, not me. Okay, maybe that was you. I think, that, I think they got the first half of the year. The first of the half. Year? The first okay. mm, three-fourths. Okay. Of the year. Chuck, right. Iggy, Iggy didn't dominate? Iggy dominated oh, up until... Oh, there's there's a whole on, rebellion how, thing how going on right now. How do you feel in your chest in your about There's yeah. a whole rebellion thing going on right now. J. Cole speaking out, mm -hmm. you know, the whole Black Lives Matter. Once Mike Brown was killed, everything changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. started... And then this whole, you know, co-opting of the culture, yep. you know, it's it's real. And I think Iggy was ill-prepared to handle that because she tried to come out of mouth. She did. She like did come out wrong. Like when q her on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. She a just lot should have just took that and said, thank you, sir. I appreciate mm -hmm. the education and kept it moving. But she tried, tried to, to come back. She tried to come back. See, she's in water she's not prepared to be in. And mm -hmm. then Tip jumped in mm -hmm. defending her. What was the what? hashtag? White girls matter? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we're gonna we gotta go going. to break. Yes, we gotta yes. go to break first. Then yes. We're gonna keep it moving. Yes, so okay. you guys stick around because there's a lot more of all this on the other side of this break. <laughs> Don't move. We'll be right back. <laughs> Shake it off. Music is important to me. It's uh, the first thing I ever fell in love with. Uh, it is a universal language. It is the voice of the things that sometimes we're afraid to say inside. I think music is um, just a beautiful gift that's been given to us. And I'm just very fortunate that I can live and uh, love to do it every single day of my life. Hey, what's up? I'm Melanie Fiona, and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. Ever since I became an athlete, I have been very passionate about being the best that I can be, and that starts from within. Feeding yourself the right foods, spirituality, all of that. So that's why I wake up in the morning, to be the best mom that I can be, and to be inspired to get better at just living this life, being a human being on this earth. Hi, I'm Layla Ali, and you're watching Arise TV. Comedy is important because laughter is good for the soul. Laughter keeps you young. Laughter makes everyone happy. So guess what? Keep on laughing, everybody. This is Kim Whitley, and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. My favorite part of my job is that I get to do something new every day. I invent and make up new things all the time, and I, I never stop learning. To me, Arise means a new day, a new life, a new chance, a new opportunity, a new beginning. I'm Roble, and you're watching Arise TV. Music is important to me because it's an outlet. 
different way to create, different way to express yourself, uh, different way to stay out of trouble. For me, it was very important to just always be expressive, always keep my mind busy and, and functioning and just thinking of new creative ideas. Uh, and that's still prevalent to me to this day. Uh, you take music off the world, you can take me with it. I say that all the time. So music is my passion and my love. As long as you're passionate about something, then I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Hi, my name is Joe Budden, and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. Welcome back to the Arise Entertainment 360 Top 20 Countdown. That's right, let's keep it going. Now, no year in review is complete without fashion, and 2014 mm -hmm. did not disappoint, darling. That's right, there were some <laughs> big covers this year, but none bigger than Kim and Kanye in Vogue. That's right. What did you all think of that big mistake, or kudos to Vogue? Kudos. Yeah. Kudos. They knocked it out of the park. They knew exactly what was going to make that magazine sell. Mm -hmm. They knew exactly who to put on the cover. And if it was going to be them, that's exactly who it was. And they got them. Now, Anna mm -hmm. Wintour is getting a little flack for kind of going the celebrity right. route. Mm -hmm. How, what do you think? Because it's a fashion Bible, they it said. Is, it is a fashion Bible. They don't Bible. deserve to be on the cover. Absolutely. Right. If you, okay, coming from that standpoint, do they deserve to be on the cover based on how Vogue has always been? No. Mm. But, but right now, with the world that we're living in, Yes. I think it's not okay. doing personality and what's in the moment. And Kanye West has been, especially with fashion, he has been a trendsetter. He's been one of the guys in hip hop that removes himself away from what the standard is. And he takes risks. And they are two of the most popular people in pop culture. Right. Why not right. give him a shot? That's what you're going to hate. But someone who I will not hate on, Lupita Nyongo yes. also landed on the cover of the July issue. Yeah, she actually became a darling of the fashion Absolutely. world this year. And we just could not get enough Couldn't of her. Couldn't get enough. What do you all say? I miss her. Oh. I want her back. <laughs> she I want her on so many more covers, I can't, even, I can't even stand it. Mm. Well, she's yeah. beautiful. She's man. Yeah. I mean, gorgeous. I, think, I just think it's a, it's a wonderful thing. I have a yes. young daughter, and I just love to see the fact that she can see another standard of beauty that doesn't yep. involve, you know, no mm. disrespect to anybody's hairstyle, but perming, pressing, yep. whatever, right. whatever. Yep. Um, it's just good to see a variety of That's right. hairstyles, but a I variety would, of skin tones. I yeah. think I'd be a little intimidated if I'm going to get my hair done the same place my girl getting her hair done. <laughs> You know, like, she getting the shape up, I'm getting the shape up right after that. But, I mean, I'm just joking, but she is, um, she is a, she's a beautiful woman. Going back she's to what gorgeous. you're saying, it's good to see different faces and different looks of mm. what beauty That's really right. is. Now, do you think that she took the crown from Michelle Obama? Because Michelle mm. Obama was the yes. darling. Mm. Yes, yeah, she, she did. did. did wow. She did. Ah. <laughs> she like, absolutely <laughs> did. Yeah, she, yeah, she didn't snatch it. Okay, she just she, uh, she gently, gently took it off. Gently, gently. <laughs> but she didn't snatch it from, <laughs> she, from, she from, yeah, from Mrs. Zone. She didn't do that. Okay, I tell you. Well, let's get to weddings. Number 11 on our list. And there were some major weddings this year. But we have to talk about Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Yes. Okay, what did you think of this? And the wedding dress. I love the, the dress. drawings. Yes. Okay. Absolutely brilliant. Loved it. You loved it. I did. And I loved it because she included her children in one of the most important days mm. of her life. And aside from the fact that they were there, something that she's going to keep forever is going to have their imprint on it. I mm. loved it. Okay, guys. That wedding, that wedding was sold out just with invites to their kids that came. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any All more room, man. All the kids showed up, man. We're sold out. Yeah. Now, another sold out wedding. Okay, of course, the most anticipated wedding of the year was Kim and Kanye. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Were you guys watching? No. No. Really? I don't know. I, 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 I did. I did. I mean, through social media, I definitely tuned okay. in. I just, Shout out to Jaden Jaden Smith. He wore a white Batman outfit to the wedding, <laughs> which was absolutely ridiculous. Is that ridiculous. what happens when He's your parents have too much money? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's too much money. I think too much creative freedom. Uh, I don't think that could be thing it too. Was like they, they look at them kids like, how weird can you get? Yeah. yeah. No, Solange's wedding was uh, gorgeous. She, yeah. she had six outfit changes. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. She had six gorgeous. outfit changes, and two of them was in the elevator. One of them, oh, one of them was in the elevator. She switched it up in the elevator. Uh, <laughs> look, look, look. She yeah. switched it up. Can't forget about that, bro. No. no. <laughs> that happened this year. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. yeah. A lot of happened this year. Oh, yeah. Can't forget this wedding. George Clooney and Amal Yes, Maldine. Yes, I mean, two powerhouses. Right. Yeah. Brilliant. Mm. Really. I hope they're, they're really, really, really in love. She's su supposedly pregnant what you, wait, now. What do you mean? What do you think? I'm just, you because I think a lot of times, a lot of these weddings are just really moves. 
Mm. These are moves made in Hollywood. Strategic moves. They are to very move strategic up. moves made I in Hollywood. You. But they're already Absolutely. powerhouses in their own right. So do you think they would have even needed that type of move for them? There's a reason. Ooh. You probably would have been happy with a, a, a woman that's non successful and insecure. Those are the women you really yeah, need yeah. to go for. Okay. <laughs> really? That last little really? little women that really? need your help. Really? She can't help it. <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> Come on, I mean, but let's be clear. The reason we, we're watching this whole thing and we know about her is because of. Right. Absolutely. He's the draw. Absolutely. There. She's gorgeous and she rocks a bad hat. So no, I'm he's gorgeous it. and so he rocks a bad hat. <laughs> they're in love and a lot of other people are out of love. Yeah. So let's talk about divorces, shall we? Hmm. There were a lot of them. Did you guys just hear Chris Rock oh. and his yes, wife, wife. Rock, yes. Compton Rock? That hurt my heart. Broken yeah. Yeah. That, that hurt my heart. 19 years. That hurt my heart. Now, wait, that Donnell, hurts. can a comedian have a successful long term relationship? A comedian can have a long term relationship. But I think that I think one of the most attractive qualities a man can have is a sense of humor. And when you Absolutely. have a sense of humor, and you have a sense of humor and you're successful, it's going to be people always coming at you. I don't know if it was someone else that kind of like um, mm -hmm. ruined their relationship. We never know what the right. inside deal is. But you actually can grow apart. You can grow apart. Mm -hmm. You know. And, and Chris Rock, I it's know personally, is yeah. a comics comic. He might been one of those guys that's more in love with his career then, and more in yeah. love in comedy than some of the things uh, closer to him. I so think true. we had a hit with that's uh, so true. I Think I Love My Wife. But that anyway, movie, yeah. I mean, that was a yeah. movie. Yeah. Where are we yeah. going no, from that? You know, his wife, Chris Rock's <laughs> wife is like this. Okay, now I got my top five things <laughs> that I'm going to get. Right. In this yeah, you, so, <laughs> you think you okay, okay. All right, so another couple that have been together forever, they just broke up, Chris and Bruce yes. Jenner. Yeah. yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, yeah, oh, really? he's oh. trying to be a woman now. You're right, I'm not surprised. That kind of, that's mm -hmm. a deal breaker, I think. Mm -hmm. But you think he told her, like, you know what, this isn't working out because I want to be you? Or uh, it <laughs> <laughs> could have been like, wow, you're way more of a hustler than I am. Oh, mm. shoot. Chris, oh, wow. Chris is, is getting it in, yeah. and all you see Bruce do it is just chilling. Yeah. Maxing and But relaxing. I've seen, even at the beginning of that show, I've seen certain times, I don't know if this contributed to him getting divorced, but the worst thing in a relationship is when you don't let or make your man feel like a man. A man. And exactly. I've seen so That's many times that I've seen yes. in their show that mm. she would talk down to him. Yes. You gotta realize, this dude was one of the greatest athletes, athletes of in all the world. Time. People are not familiar with him. Like, he's the first dude to be on the Wheaties box. Yeah. I mean, I think like, what, triathlon, like six time goal. He yeah. was he like was the bananas. Michael Phelps of his area. Yeah. And then, of his era. And then when you have someone that comes out and she wants to be, she, she was more Bruce Jenner yes, than he was. She was the man. So, Speaking wow. of a grand dam in the relationship, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mariah Carey mm -hmm. and Nick Cannon. Mm -hmm. He had the tattoo. It's man. supposed to be forever. Mm -hmm. yeah, I want to oh, say this. Uh -oh. we were, uh -oh. I was rooting for those two, man. Yeah. Nobody gave them a week. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm like, once they made it through that first year, I was like, okay. And then they kept going and going, had kids. And kept getting married again as well. Right. But yeah. people yeah. Yeah. annual wedding. People yes. don't really look at entertainment, we are in the business uh, of a lot of people. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like people always say, well, I can't see how you do that. Yeah, but you're not a funny multimillionaire. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking anybody's job, blue collar work, whatever. But there's a difference between a dude that have the opportunities like Chris Rock than the UPS dude. You know what? 2014 also experienced a lot of deaths this year. You are and unfortunately, we had... <laughs> they're playing around over here. This is serious. We are. This is number nine on our list, celebrity deaths. That's right. And yeah. it's only appropriate that we start with the wisdom keeper herself, yes. Maya Angela. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. So powerful. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. some of our generation's best actors, Philip Seymour Hoffman, mm -hmm. Paul Walker, yes. Ruby D, to name a yeah. few. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And no matter what, what their age is, celebrity deaths, they always come as a shock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, but for us, the biggest shocks mm. were Joan Rivers and Robin yes. Williams. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And it's always sad looking back and remembering these people who had so much and had such an impact on culture and accepting them into our but lives. My, Maya Angelou, I mean, when we, I will use the word death, but Maya Angelou was such a great poet, such a great person, whatever, and she was in us so much that she doesn't feel like she passed away. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, physically, she may not be with us, but, you know, with, with her poems, with her stories, with everything she's done in life, she, will, she is one of those people that will, her, her, her legacy and her life, you'll feel her for years and years. Mm -hmm. Robin Williams, you know, I tell people, as a stand-up comic myself, people are like, you know, it must be an easy job, but I say sometimes you never know when a comic needs a comedy. That's right. Mm. That's you know what right. I'm saying? Because comics, com the comedy, you look at a clown. If you look at the face of a clown, right, you see his face, his face, his smile is painted on. Yeah. But if you wash away all the makeup or whatever, you look at him in his face, you probably wouldn't even never knew that he was a clown.
Mm-hmm. You know, Smokey Robinson said in this song, people say I'm the life of the party because I tell a joke or two, but take a good look at my face. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So you never know, even if it's even though it's our job yeah. to bring joy and happiness, you never know what's going on deep inside. Absolutely. Down inside. And sometimes people just need a hug, man. Yeah. Yeah. And it seems like oh. depression was at the forefront yeah. of a lot of deaths this year. You yeah. know, people taking yeah. their own lives yeah. and different things like that, like Robin Williams, who we're showing there. Oh, and I just wanted to shout out Big Bang Hank from the Sugar Hill yeah. Gang. Oh. Yeah. Story yeah. Too. Too. He set off, you know, helped set off the whole hip-hop culture Absolutely. to the masses. And I think he deserves a, yeah. a quick nod. That's right. A- absolutely. And also, one other place that, that we lost people was in fashion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oscar yeah. de la Renta. Yeah. This year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That was and, huge. Yeah. And also, Loren Scott. Right? Mm-hmm. Loren yeah, Scott. Who, definitely. Right. Who, mm-hmm. um, who passed away. And I believe, was it, was it drug-related? Yeah, no, at the, she had the, the handkerchief tied. Yes, she hung herself. She, she, hung, herself. Door, she yeah. hung herself. But again, you know, a lot of these mental <laughs> issues so are coming. You're so with that. He explained, <laughs> he explained how that, yeah, the one that did, did, did the, the uh, star. <laughs> <laughs> this segment's not supposed to end in life. Oh okay, my God, I'm going to try to save myself right now. <laughs> read sorry. the headlines. You can find out all about the details of the people who yes. passed. But their memories will definitely live on in all the great work that yes. they leave behind. Yes, yes, yes. And don't you go did. anywhere. We'll be right back with more of our Top 20 Countdown. Done. <laughs> Music is a medium by which people communicate emotions, problems, happiness, sadness, and it's very universal no matter what language it's in. I'm DJ Kiss and you're watching Arise TV. Arise is the culture. Arise is the future. Arise is number one. Arise is what we all do, kid. Arise is me. Arise is you. Prodigy, the infamous Mob Deep, kid. And right now you're watching Arise TV. Welcome back. We're counting down the hottest and most important stories of the year. And I know for at least my family with my daughters, the biggest story for us this year was Frozen. Oh, my goodness. And by the looks of it, everyone else had that same experience. I couldn't let it go. I couldn't let it go. That's okay. That's good. Good job. I probably should let it go. Are you guys, right? is, this, is this the most played out you song? Should you should let your singing career go. If you Please don't do that again. That nigga didn't want to do the thing. I was like, if you sing again, I'm going to do that. Sandman coming out here. If I'm a wizard, not. It's horrible. Oh, my God. God. It was huge. It was huge. The song, the movie, the paraphernalia, everything. It was huge. And I know they were not expecting it to be that big. But kids love it. And grown-ups love it. Are you guys ready for the sequel yet? <laughs> Listen. Uh, the first good. one. Yeah. Oh, I don't have Watch any children. Me. I don't have any children. Yeah. I don't have you long, long hair or a sister or anything. Take somebody else. <laughs> 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 long, long hair or a sister. For me, that was a $15 nap. Oh, yeah. come on. Tell the yeah. truth and shame the devil. Oh, I really did. love Princess yeah. Anne. You know, his hands have a hashtag about that frozen life. Theater, <laughs> <laughs> we out here. <laughs> my current situation. Making my daughter life. happy. Feel me? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, that, that's Princess oh Anna, but I'm, I'm truly, this is my moment right now. Can oh. I get in my moment? Okay, you have it. Because I'm really interested in the queen. Oh. Queen B. That's right. Wow. Yeah. wow. Beyonce had a huge year. Let's start off with yes. the biggest tour of the summer, yeah. okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. What did you think about the tour with our hubby, yeah. Jay-Z? They On killed the it. They shut everybody up, is yeah. what they did with that mm. tour. That uh -huh. tour, that tour, it served so many purposes. One was to shut folks up. Two was to show them that they were a dynamic couple. Uh -huh. Three, that they could make a comeback with, you know, no matter what happens to, to them in their marriage. They killed it. But you they killed it. You can be insulted in the elevator and still That's go it. on the I'm road. I'm just saying. Okay, Solange was on the run after yeah. that elevator scene. Okay, but wait a minute. Was all that just a ploy to get people I to go to the people, concert? Yes. People, I, I so. believe that was a ploy. Yes. It was a smart one, too. <laughs> yeah, they pulled one of the biggest. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and, on, so. and did you all notice that, oh, first of all, I did go to the tour and I watched every frame and I really enjoyed it. I know it. it. <laughs> but, so, but on, on the tour, one of their videos that they had, they had them getting out of the elevator in the mask, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So was that a shout out to when it you? First Pick happened, up they had just done. When, when it first happened, uh, I we said, got all y'all. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Jay Z, if you know Jay Z, anytime he has a new album, something he'll do something that's out of the box in terms of PR and marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. even situation with Ben Nunn that came out big un and came out later that they set up the whole stabbing thing. That's what I'm understanding. Really? Really? That, that was a setup. Un was he said it on one of the radio stations. That was like Same. he was like. In so many words, he said it was publicity stunt. And when it first mm. happened, everybody's so quick to be on, like, oh my God, I don't believe it. I'm like, come on, man. That was the smartest. Like, yes. you got you have something coming out. What do you want to do? You be you wanna be on just one channel or you be or you wanna be on world news in yep. every social media and every outlet. So true. And he and, and they I think that it was a publicity stunt, my personal opinion of it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. So that may have I been a publicity stunt, but what about the child's hair? Blue Ivory, she's the cutest little thing, but is her hair publicity? Okay, is it is it not a tragedy, black people, that the mm. only station that was talking about what was wrong with that child's natural hair was BET. Man. Is that indicative of a larger issue? That's I, definitely indicative of a larger issue. We, mm. uh, man, listen, we gotta <laughs> love ourselves, man. I'm just saying. And, uh, and that like child's her hair, hair I do too. is nobody, first of all, it's nobody's business. Second of all, she's richer than all of us. Right. Yep. Right? So she yep. can do whatever she wants. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, she's a, a, a little baby. She's a Carter. What does that have to do with the happiness Absolutely of that nothing. child, the well being of that child, That's and how right. they treat that? That's you know? right. Exactly. So That's everybody exactly on right. Twitter, Instagram is just leave the baby alone. Absolutely. It's hair. That's right. I bet now, you if we knocked on your door, surprisingly, you open the door, all your kids would have nappy, have nappy hair. Oh, you That's don't have to surprise. They, it's all time. <laughs> exactly. No, <laughs> I'm staying away from elevators, but yes. don't stay away from this show. We'll be right back. <laughs>
You know I mean, I don't, I don't think it may not be as over the top as he was on his show. Right. But I don't think people really connect with him. And, and for some people, that doesn't seem like a character. It seems like the person he is. And he has that quirkiness. He's smart. People love him. They don't know what to expect. They don't know what combination you're going to hit him with. I think they're not going to get that, I think though. that's it. They, uh, they take the possibility. We'll get that. They're not going to get that. that. They'll want get that. that when Letterman, when, when, when Letterman was on the scene, when he was younger, he's probably his age, mm -hmm. he had a lot of similarities as Colbert. Letterman grew into an older host, a more mm -hmm. Settle down one, but he used to ride the go karts. Letterman used to ride true, the go karts. Very true. Very he used to do all the crazy stuff. And I think that they did. A, I think there was a great job in replacing Letterman with Stephen Colbert. I think he'll do a great job. Okay. Oh, great. Now, now what about Chelsea Handler? She yeah. left her really popular yeah. show on E and is going to Netflix. Is I this the future? I thought you were saying she left her part uh, with E and going to Fifty Cent's house. <laughs> That's what probably. Uh, how well, you retire? She may make a stop on the way. She, she might. Never she know. just she might. She, she, might. Nice she can get into that type of stuff on Netflix. <laughs> Chelsea, I don't know. Chelsea, right? Chelsea, keep it real. You, did you screw Fifty Cent? Oh yes, yes I, I did. did. Uh, Only yes, one woman on television <laughs> that will admit it. She's doing a toast to that after that. Right, right. Yeah. I, I think that Chelsea was at a point where she just tapped out with her mm. show. You know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the, the people like that's just like on radio with shock jocks and stuff. It's not too like not too many people can hold a career of just being shocking mm. the whole time. I think that she mm. ran out of it. I think she's got enough money, and I think she just she don't want to. I think she'll probably really try to take herself serious as an actor and try to switch it up and not just be the harsh, um, she the harsh person. She, I think she can. She do can it. do that. Okay. Well, we she can't can talk about late night shows without talking about how Jimmy Fallon Come on took now. over. Come on. Now. I mean, he killed Ooh, it. He he every shot. single night. Was like yes. pow, pow. Yes. Now, what do you think about him and his He's a takeover? Genius. He's yeah. a genius. He's I, an absolute genius, and I love it. I love yeah. it. his shows. This is very ingenious. This is the one thing that people never really notice when you see a person on a show that's big on the marquee. I'll say examples like Chappelle's show, mm -hmm. like the Richard Pryor show. What people don't acknowledge is the team that comes together yeah. with that. So as much as we want to give Jimmy Fallon credit for hosting that show, when he first started off, that was kind of rocky. Mm -hmm. People didn't know. And I'll, I'll, I'll say a thing that one, of the, one of the things that contributed to him is the way he used the roots. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. As a performer, that was great. Absolutely. Breakaway, where Absolutely. He used the roots. In the way they are entertaining, the way they do the skits. And Jimmy Fallon, for whatever success he gets, you have to applaud his his staff of writers Absolutely. and the whole team around him. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not going to ignore the fact that, that the whole team around him is what makes him a success. We just see his face, right. and it's his name. And, yeah. but, and the show is, is absolutely amazing. People will stay up late to mm -hmm. watch that show definitely. where they wouldn't stay up late before. I mean, it's, there's no doubt his show is definitely taking yeah. off. But our number five topic is about series that have ended. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Now, so most recently, the newsroom mm. ended its run. Uh-oh, oh, I hear it. Mm. Oh, that was That's, your show. She's very but, upset she's about it. <laughs> After three <laughs> seasons on HBO. Now, I don't think this show did as well as most people expected it to. Did anybody mm. start out with it and then kind yes. of peter off? No, I started out with it and, with it and stayed with it. No. Even when it took okay. the hiatus, I was like, they better bring it back. Uh -huh. I thought it was a very, because, I, you know, as a, as a media person, as a publicist, I love the whole journalistic end of things and, mm. and news and television. The abusive so that, part. Yeah, that too. Okay. Just okay. You know me. All right. <laughs> Another show that I was sad to see go was How I Met Your Mother. After nine yeah. years, yeah, I was so was happy so when it went funny. off. I mean, I'm still watching. Were you? It. Yes. Are yeah. oh, you ready? Right. Yes. I'm still you watching. Know what it was like, you know what it was like for me? It was like Seinfeld for me. Uh, I just couldn't. I just, oh, yeah, I couldn't. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm personally How devastated by um, True Blood. Anybody? <laughs> she said I'm Any bangers in the house? <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. What about Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad. Yeah. It won. Yeah. It won. And the awards. I mean, award after award after award. I know. Yeah. Do you think they should bring it back? Well, Walter died, so he's no, it's TV. He was running from the law, I so he faked they, his death. Yeah, <laughs> That's what it was. I think they should have left it open ended anyway. Right, so right. if they can somehow crack that door and bring him back and bring the series back, mm. I mean, it'll be a home run. Yeah, because... like they did Dynasty in Dallas. Now, right. Right. Is, from back in the day. Is everyone devastated to have lost Honey Boo Boo? No, no more Honey Boo Boo. Ooh. No. Boo to no. Boo Boo. No. No. Boo to Boo Boo. Wanted to see an episode. No. But I just like when they say stuff like Skeddy. How much butter you want? You're Skeddy. I just. Oh, it just for Cringe. me, it was kind of, kind of rewarding to see other people that you mm -mm. get to see how uh. foul they live in. <laughs> and stop trying to make brothers out just to be the worst people on TV. I was like, yes, white people represent for this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so then we, let's move to the black show then. Okay. Uh, 106 and Park. Uh, was anybody else shocked? I was like, that is the staple of BT. I no, 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 no. Oh, no. you just thought and it was time? Yes. No oh, disrespect to anybody. That's right. But, but when they brought the new host yes. after Terrence and Roxy. Yes. I thought Bow Wow was I knew, doing a great job, though. 
Mm. No, no. If, I, if I was an artist, man, I think that they needed somebody that was a true host and a yeah. true mm. uh, person that's... Okay. A personality. Yeah, nah. Fair enough. Not a musician. I knew it was, it was a rap. But the reunion show was fun, though, when they brought everybody together as yeah. a finale. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah, fun yeah, to see was, everybody like throughout the I years. did like that, yep. Yeah. Okay. Donnell's I like, I couldn't care less. And AJ. <laughs> so I was a big fan. I was a big fan. I'm not Eric. I came up when Big Tigger was the host of That's you right. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I had kind of like person. I'm like, nah, I thought Big Tigger was the host? Yeah, Big Tigger. For a little while, Big Tigger was like the... Um, Corn <laughs> What's the Soul Train guy? Don Cornelius. Yeah, Don uh. Cornelius. Of it. But um, it was again like you have certain platforms they hop for a minute and then the way times change so quick, nothing is gonna stay forever. And it's time to do something else. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Well. Yeah. All right. Well. So sad for that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Too much to bear. We're gonna move on to our number four story. Sports. Okay, yes. That's right. See it here. was a big year. Lots of controversies in sports. This is probably <laughs> the most controversial year in sports that I've <laughs> ever experienced. That's saying a lot. And we're starting off with Michael Sam. Mm. Being the first openly gay football player That's to be right. drafted mm -hmm. into the NFL. What's, what's that? Mm. Uh, no, he's like, mm. <laughs> Michael Sam, no wait, he got why? cut eventually, but it was for performance mm. and not his sexuality. Mm. Well, so I'm I, just trying so to figure say. out why in 2014, the sexuality aspect of it is still a big deal. Because now. it's in sports. Yeah, I will right. say that. It's not just a big deal. But it's not been open about Come it. That's, the, that's Look, why it was you know, an issue. Just because the door's been open doesn't mean we didn't know what was going on behind it. Wow. Exactly. You know yeah, but saying? you know, some yeah. people just don't want certain things exposed. I like, mm -hmm. you can't say, you got like, what, like 60 or 70 people on the team? Like, mm -hmm. everybody's gonna be straight in the team? Mm -hmm. We get exactly. that, but like yep. you said, it's just like one of those tough things is because, especially like professional sports, Usually, that's been reserved for like it's the the ultimate the test manly. of how macho, yeah. how right. masculine. That's yep. to do with anything with performance because <clears throat> obviously Michael Sam was a, a breakaway breakaway talent in sports, but it's just hard. We will probably get to the point where it's not a big deal, but it's got to be the first for something on everything. And I think mm -hmm. as time and as as sports evolve, whatever it will, it, I don't think it will ever be super accepted, but mm -hmm. I think it won't be looked at. Like, okay, you're not a real macho guy because you're gay. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Well, in other sports news, what about Derek Jeter retiring? Aww. Did you guys, were you, I hear the all, yeah. were you sad? I'm, just, I'm, I'm sad. Yeah, he's I a staple in the I'm not a huge baseball fan, but mm -hmm. I am sad that he's not there. He was a great cap, great team leader. Mm -hmm. um, they respected him. I, yeah, I, I'm going to miss him. I think Derek Jeter is the last of a dying beat when yeah. it comes to prof professional sports. Mm -hmm. When you go to a, a franchise when you're younger, you're the marquee player yep. for it. And then people try to get you, give you more money, go other places, but you have some type of loyalty, loyalty to your city, to the team. You're not gonna see that, you're not gonna see that, that era. I yeah. don't know if you're ever gonna see, see that, that because again. nowadays yeah. you go to a team, they don't even care about winning championships, they care about what their salary is mm -hmm. gonna be, how much money you're gonna get, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, you want to be proud that somebody bought some happiness mm -hmm. to your city and bought yep. some championships and, yeah. and earned it. And yep. Derek Chena's never gotten any trouble. Stand up guy, stayed out trouble. Absolutely. He yeah. smashed a lot of chicks, but we didn't know about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. I, we may never see him play again, saying? but we may not also see Ray Rice play again because he, he was kicked out of the NFL. We're going to see Ray Rice. That's his not, wife wasn't right. And LA, and they the Las Vegas right. elevator. It wasn't right because he it was double jeopardy. They, they basically, you know, a, he was uh, he was already tried, and then they mm. retried him after it became a big media fiasco. Mm. So I feel like, although it was a horrific act of mm -hmm. brutality against a woman, like let's mm -hmm. just keep it real. I think on the flip side, he was penalized, and then he was repenalized. So they've actually rescinded it, but now he mm. has to get a team, which we don't know. That he's not gonna, they're they're not going to want to touch him because not he's not at all. all. Speaking of, uh, <laughs> about people that don't have a team, okay, Donald Sterling, <laughs> yeah. did he deserve oh, to lose his team? I think For so. racist yeah. remarks. I think so. Mm. Racist sure remarks in a private Look, conversation. But you know, at hey. the end of the day, when you find out someone's true intent, and, the, and how they really feel about you, oh, it will change a thing. You know mm. what I'm saying? You're, the whole relationship changes. Nobody, mm. is, nobody wants to, to work for him anymore. Yeah. But the entire <coughs> NBA is black. And we're going to take charge of what yeah. we want to do. We're going to do what we want to do. The way how we want to do, do it. it. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Like, the dude come out your mouth crazy. That's right. And we're going to take your team. You know, like you're getting street right. He's like, like going to come out your mouth right. 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 Son, right. <laughs> I, the, 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 the weird part for me is like he didn't act like he did anything wrong. That's right. right. Like That's he was in an interview. What he's he's sitting he's there. Like, I know. Right. What do you mean? He's in an interview, just sitting there like. Uh, like no, 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 no. This is what he I gave them houses. Yeah. 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 I, they, they ate good. I've What's done the problem? So much for you. I was exactly. He said, yeah. like, What's the problem? Yeah. But somebody oh, just said gosh. something hilarious, and they were like. 
he's a he's a good racist. He just said, just don't put it on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. a, that's, a, that's the only thing he cared about. He said, on that note, on Instagram. the good racist uh -huh. note, guys, we've made a lot of progress Absolutely. so far. Yes. Okay, but we still have our top three oh, stories yeah. to go. And trust us, they're big. Oh, so stick, you, 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 you don't want to miss them. <laughs> Stay right here. We'll be, we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360's 2014 Top 20 Countdown. Down with racists. <laughs> Arise is empowerment. Arise is youth. Arise is love. Arise is the future. I'm Paul Carrick Brunson, and you are watching Arise TV. The importance of storytelling cannot be overstated. It is often only by telling our stories that we discover who we are, where we're from, what we want, and what we know. I am Taya Selassie, and you are watching Arise TV. They can't stop talking. It's too hot in her. But <laughs> we have to welcome them back. Welcome back to Rise Entertainment 360. They're spinning each other. Guys. We still have our top three stories in pop culture to get to in our countdown. We're going to round them right now. Countdown. We got something new for you to get riled up yes. about. Yes. Okay. Our number three was just too big to sum up in one. So you know mm. what? I'm going to just say it. Black women in Hollywood shut it down this year. Shut it down. Take that, Nancy. I'm just kidding. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I'm just kidding, girl. I'm not even sure where to start. Janae, let's start with the beginning of the year with our darling girl Lupita Nyong'o winning the best actress yes. in a supporting role yeah, yeah. Oscar. All that brown, Hello. I felt like it was me. Okay. Right now. Guys. Exactly, mm -hmm. absolutely. Very, very happy for her. Love her. There's nothing mm -hmm. you can say about her. Mm. It's Can't not enough. Know. There's not enough you can say about her. She's amazing, gorgeous. Like I said, more covers. I'll be happy to see her. Now, right. another woman that falls into that category, gorgeous, brilliant, all that. Yeah. As we know, Selma director yeah. Ava DuVernay, you hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just became the first black woman to be nominated for a Best That's right. Director Golden That's right. Globe. That's, That's right. right. Slow clap. Slow Woo! clap. <laughs> Yo, I was so honored to meet her this year. Mm -hmm. I was in her presence twice, and Oprah was in the second one. And I was just, Ooh. like, so, like, in awe of mm -hmm. both of them. But just to look at them as black women and then just be like, Yo. Yeah. I was like, this is crazy. And then I'm mm -hmm. like, what? well, I need to step my game up. Because they yeah. were just, they're just so phenomenal. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I'm, we got to do something, man. We can't just be winning awards on slave movies and stuff. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do a slave movie. Why don't you do the Nat Turner movie? Uh -huh. Now I will I play, I'll play that, that, but I'm not gonna have the voice. I'm not gonna ask gonna be I'm not gonna have that. No, nah, I'm gonna be like, word, I have a modern day voice. <laughs> Yo, word, word y'all ready to go pop, pop? Let's get it popping out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. All right, well, let's talk about a young woman who stepped it up a little bit and was not in a slave role. No. From Vinjane Wallace and Annie. The remake brought it back full circle. Rhonda, stop stretching your <laughs> turtleneck. What's I know, she's like stretching her turtleneck. What you have to say? Nothing. What do you have to say? Nothing. I love Same. her. 
I'm mm -hmm. just not. Annie, mm -mm. it's not for you though. It's for the, the kids. For the My kids. daughter listen, loved it. She, listen, uh, listen, Mr. Did you I don't fall like asleep frozen. in this one? Right. I, I don't, I don't, I just, first I don't of all, like Frozen. I liked Annie. I liked it. Mm. Okay. I liked it, and I I watched it twice. Mm. One twice with my daughter. My daughter wants to see it two more times. I thought it was good, and I don't think it's for adults. I see all these, mm -hmm. you know, critics going at it or whatever. But I'm like the kids because we're the love ones who it. critique the movies. But, yeah. but your opinion doesn't matter. Yes, it when, does. When the whole yes, it does. No, no, don't, 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 don't The pressure when the kid says I want to go see it. That's that's what matters. Okay. But let me ask you this. Why do you like What I did like about Annie is the pride she brought to young black girls like my daughter who loves her Annie hair now. Because when I can't do her hair and it's just like a wild. She says, I have any hair. Wait, you should, I love you should show the clip That's of you the doing blue hair. hair. That's <laughs> it. I love that we are still going, guys. These yes. are some big stories, but none oh, of no. them can top Miss Shonda Rhimes. Not right? Shonda yes. Land, baby. Right? Yes. yes. It's Shonda Land. She yes. owns Thursday night She's on ABC. It. Is this it. a historic time? Absolutely. For her, yes. And if we can get more African Americans to do the same thing, that would be awesome. Look All how many right. people she's employing. Yes. It's crazy, people. Debbie Allen made a resurgence <clears throat> directing for Shonda. Scandal's a little... A little weak this last season. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. really We're going to get it back. Don't worry. That's okay. We have scandal in our number two topic. <laughs> yes. Bill Cosby. Oh. What a scandal. Can he call Olivia Pope right now? He needs help. to. He needs to. He needs to. It pains me also because yeah. it's, it, it's not just about a character. We all know this right. is a major black figure yeah. That's who right. has helped a lot of people in this business. But also, I mean, the Cosby show, we grew up on it. It yeah. meant something more to the culture. How did you guys feel? Donnell, did you feel like it was a betrayal to hear a comedian? It wasn't a betrayal because I really believe everybody has vices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This it's is just more than a vice, though. You're saying it's a vice. There's several women have come out to say that they... He I was I'll be talking about the first them. couple women. I was like, I don't believe it. I'm in entertainment myself. I'm mm -hmm. like, it could be a setup. I'm like, it started to sound like, like an R&B song. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day. As tragic it is for his career and his life, whatever, can you imagine, like, she is nothing, they can't be involved with media at all. Everywhere mm -hmm. you turn around, there's something coming up. I just, I think it's unfortunate. Me growing up on Bill Cosby, I want to, I want to love him, I want to love his body of work. Mm -hmm. But it's just, the, the, the allegations, I don't believe everybody, possibly truth in some of them. I don't believe mm -hmm. Je, um, Janice mm -hmm. Dickinson. She just, oh my gosh, thing. I know that's right. You know? But there have been several women that have said that he drugged them and then took yeah. advantage of them sexually. So do you believe he can recover from this? It's been hit so hard. No, no, I, um, man, look, I, um, I have very mixed feelings about it, but uh, can he recover? I don't believe so. Rhonda? I think that the damage is done. Can I think recover. anybody, I think because of this industry, anybody can recover from anything. It's just how okay. long, how long we're going to give him to come back. Oh, because we're no. still waiting for him. Oh, no, no, you say that, 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 that's, that's 23 that. allegations. No, I see people come back. <laughs> let me just, no, but let me just say this. If we, if we can, if we can accept Ray Rice back after watching him knock his woman out. Mm -hmm. This is different. No, it's, you know what? I would tell you abuse who will. Abuse. Ex, I, I, abuse I, is abuse. I tell you, in his strategy, I tell you who will possibly it could get past it as a black community. We we more than forgive you. Mm -hmm. We we forgive a lot quicker. But I think Main Street America, it's a wrap. But the problem is, Bill has you know a lot of black people are upset with Bill because of what he said in the past about the black community. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. true. So he's That's true. But nobody nobody ever wants when you say in the black community nobody ever wants you to say the truth. That's true. And some of the things that Bill true. Cosby say, okay, here's a problem. What uh, dads need to be dads. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. then you get upset about that. But that's yeah. the truth. There's a lot That's of things to get upset That's about, right. but we have to move on to our number one and story of 2014. <laughs> we are moving on to 2014. Number one story Come on. is, drama, please, brr, Sony hacking scandal. Yes. Now, oh, my God. I mean, it has the embarrassing email leaks, right? Yeah, yeah. The salty yeah. backroom, yeah, yeah. backstabbing, yeah. terrorism, and all of that with hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars on the line. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they even had to pull the movie, the interview, yes. that then went back into the theaters, but money had already been lost. Mm -hmm. What is going on in Hollywood? Once again, we now know what they feel about us. Uh -huh. We now yeah. know. And contrary to popular belief, we may we should not have known because they were private emails, mm -hmm. but we now know. We know what they feel about Denzel, Kevin Hart, mm -hmm. and a whole slew of us. And yeah, they so, even did, were you guys for Amy Pascal? Should she have gotten fired? Well, should there have been any any repercussions? Well, that's the thing. I mean, you know, we talk about all these things that other, you know, folks are doing of color and then we want to penalize them to the maximum. You know, obviously Donald Sterling is one exception, but you know, there's a whole conglomerate coming to her rescue, you know, mm. to, to say, hey, she should have her job and she should be able to keep her job. And I'm not saying she should or she shouldn't, but I'm just saying that there's a, a group 
of people that really want her to stay where she is, including some yeah. of the people she offended, like um, Angelina. Did you remember that picture I when they that. were complaining? Yeah, that face was classic. Imagine this. I love Imagine this. Imagine this. It's not just about the Sony hack. Imagine this. And I know if you uh -huh. hacked my account right now, <laughs> you would never see me on again. TV again. <laughs> I, it would be it. I would right. probably be indicted for something. Yeah. They're going to be soul trained the movie. <laughs> hey, come on, all the black Jet, girls, Ebony uh, Magazine, the movie. Oh, you guys, you know what? We want to thank you Can so much. More? I can't believe this show is already finished. over. <laughs> Real quick, favorite moment of 2014. Go, go, go. Lapita. Oh go. Uh, my, my, my music video, I'm in love with the lotion. <laughs> I'm in, lo oh I'm in love with the, the cocoa love. butter. Um, I got cocoa. Go butter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, you last, asked, last. No. I shouldn't I have. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Oh, he's like oh, so many, so god. many. Um, Chris Brown and Drake okay. beefing. Okay, that'll work. Ooh. All right. <laughs> anything Beyonce. Anything oh, Beyonce. Anything Beyonce. Anything Beyonce. Anything Beyonce. Anything Beyonce. Anything Beyonce. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sing it. Don't sing it. <laughs> Thank you Don't guys so it. much for being here and joining us. <laughs> <laughs> and be sure to come back later tonight at 11:30 Eastern Time because we are gonna reign in the new year, 2000. 2015 is about to get it going, and we'll see you then. Peace for now. We'll see you in 2015. <laughs>